Hi, my name is Katrina with IDA TV and I am here with Mary Medeiros. Mary, nice to meet you. And I heard that you do a lot and you direct and you write. So tell me your inspirations behind what you do. My inspirations behind what I do. Well, it's been a long career. So do you mean now or in general? Right now. <laughs> right now I have, uh, I'm really applying my, um, my background uh, to media that and entertainment that uh, pushes for social impact and social engagement. That's like my main thing. So that's what I'm doing. I'm channeling what I know, my skill set and my connections and the projects I'm working on now towards that goal. Great. And I think that's really important, especially um, this event being women in film. What are some socially impacted ideas or things that you want to push forward if you don't mind sharing? No, not at all. Um, I'm, I'm uh, slated to, to direct a film um, by a Puerto Rican lady actress, Hollywood actress, who um, defied the medical system and cured herself of uh, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. It's an amazing story and she's playing herself because she can. So uh, I'm working on that. I'm also working uh, as a director on another film called Legacy, which has uh, won a lot of awards so far in screenwriting contests. And that one's about um, a history over four generations of a Jewish American family of mental illness. So I'm doing that, and I'm working on my own series right now, a teen series, which is, uh, we could call it Stranger Things Meets 13 Reasons Why. Oh, wow. And it's a, a model, uh, it's a different looking scripted series because it will engage youth in the series itself. And it's accompanied by, it's accompanied by a real life series that'll cull the country uh, with young people's opinions on what they're going through. So that's enough, I think. Yeah, very powerful. Um, and what do you, is this your first time uh, attending the Women in Film Rising event? Yes, the Rising Ab Above uh, Festival. Festival. This is my first time. Yeah, I'm really happy to be here and on the panel and I really look forward to uh, what we're going to chat about later. <laughs> yeah, I think that it seems like you have a lot to say and it's great meeting you and I look forward to hearing more about you. Um, anything else you want to add? Any fun facts or anything you want to... Well, fun facts now, I mean, I have tons of actor stories and actress stories because I've worked on so many shows. Uh, so were you a former actor as well? Hmm? Were you a former actor as well? No, no. Always worked my way into directing, studied acting, okay. but uh, I always really loved the idea of directing and taking someone's script and lifting it off the page into something real. And I love working with actors. I just love it. And after having taken acting myself, I understand the process, so I'm more valuable uh, two actors, yeah, really important. I'm that is very important. I'm an actor's director, I'm referred to as that. So, uh, yeah, no, uh, nothing else, except that, I mean, I really think it's important for women um, of all ages right now, all ages, because there's a lot of ageism in the industry as well, to not stop. We're not there with the numbers yet, we're not there. For sure. Um, you know, and the Directors Guild, which I'm a member of, is trying hard to change those numbers, but we, have, we still have antiquated studio practices. Um, and so I just, I'm here tonight to really encourage women to keep forging ahead. Don't stop, stick with your passion and don't stop. Thank you, I'm like listening to this. I'm like semi letting you coach me into this. No, but thank you so much. I'm more than happy to, so it was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. Again, this is Katrina with IDA TV. Thank you.